Thank you, Mr. Martin. For your Valdosta cases, we'll now move into your Hay Hira cases. First one, HA 2019-03, 417 Peter Street. All right. Thank you, Madam Chairman. This is a special exception request. This is akin to what we would call a conditional use in Valdosta. The request is by Stoker Development for two duplex residential units in R10 zoning. Subject property is located at 417 Peter Street. Uh, this is a vacant tract of land along the north side of the road. Um, the area photo shows the vacant nature of many of the properties around it. Like we had talked about at the work session, this has been in the same family for almost 100 years on a, a 1928, I think, subdivision plaque. Um, and it's just interesting how it has evolved or just stayed together all these many years. Um, in your site, on your packet or site plans, it shows the footprints. Um, the property is a little more than 24,000 square feet now, more than a half acre. Um, the proposal is divided into two duplex lots, each of them being a little more than 12,000 square feet. Um, site plans, there's a color one in your packet. And I had meant to bring copies of the black and white one that were emailed to me this morning. But just to see the numbers a little better, this is the black and white version. You see the lots that are being proposed are roughly um, 98 feet by 125 feet. Um, the building is proposed to be 52 by 36. You see it easily fits on the property with room to spare. Um, next in the packet um, should be some photographs of the buildings. This is the actual duplex that is being proposed. It's the same plan that's been built uh, elsewhere. You see it's a Y-shaped driveway to serve each building. And on the interiors, which is the next photos, um, you see it reflects some nice construction um, with nice features and so on, like a modern house hall too. Um, R10 allows duplexes by special exception. We talked about at the work session this general area is sort of a transition between low density along Lawson Street to the north, more intensity of zoning and uses along East Main Street. Um, duplexes is in the middle of that range, and it is in the middle of that property. Um, subject property you see from Peter Street. You can tell Peter Street does not get much traffic these days, um, but that is what it looks like. The aerial, however, is a little more revealing. Some of the properties nearby, um, these are residences that were built many, many years ago. So with that, staff has found the request consistent with the special exception review criteria of AHIRA and the comprehensive plan, and we are recommending approval of it with no conditions. Okay. Thank you. Yes, Commissioner. Uh, I'm just curious, did, do you have any, any idea of the surrounding as far as uh, owners or rentals in this area? If we go back to the zoning map, Most everything you see on those large parcels are owned by two families. Okay. And I'm not sure who resides in which building or which cousin or but, but, but family far, member. But, but as far as this, I, I notice on the, on the overhead or the aerial, there's several houses out there. Are, are those mm -hmm. rentals or do you know kind of ability to know that? I think at least one of them has got an owner occupied because we received a phone call from okay. them. Um, but I. I didn't check each one, but my guess is they were all under-occupied, okay. or at least family-occupied. Uh, in this area, pretty much undisturbed from way back, did, did, you, did you mention to the uh, person that submitted about any type of fencing, or do you want to include that? Or? I don't see a need for it because of the vacant lands that are around. Um, the only residences nearby are to the west. And if you look, of course, the, the photo showed it, but the aerial really shows the existing trees that are there. Um, that is more buffer than the code would require anyway. Um, and code doesn't even require buffers between housing or single family and duplexes. Duplexes are treated the same as far as single family. In other words, they're exempt from the Hayhauer Landscape Ordinance. So there's no buffer yard required. There's no landscaping required anyway. Um, but the vegetation is currently there. And it is not in close proximity to the majority of those houses anyway. So in other words, I don't see a need for it. But you can make that a condition if you so choose. Any questions? Okay. Thank you. Now, I'll open it to the floor. Is there anyone here tonight wishing to speak on behalf of the request? Please come forward. 
State your name and address for the record, please. My name is Matt Phelps. I'm at 4560 Allen North Drive. I'm uh, here representing the um, owner of uh, the applicant, uh, Stoke Development, um, as his engineer. Just answer any questions on that. Commissioner, you have other questions for our presenter? Mr. Phelps, do you think your client would be um, opposed to a buffer? Uh, offense, definitely not. I uh, wouldn't be opposed to it. Uh, the position, we're going to, there's a couple of heat entries, large trees on the property. We're going to try and position houses such as they those to all possible. If you go to the side plan, you notice the footprints are shifted a little bit to the left. Yeah, see how there's that, the lot number two is shifted left is that tree. There's a large tree to the right front corner. So if it can be saved and more prepared, you can see it. We can work around it, we will. And whatever vegetation is on lot one. Um, and you notice the, the side setback is about 50 feet. Right. Yeah, it's, it's very wide versus. Any other questions for our presenter? Thank you, Mr. Phillips. Anyone else here tonight wishing to speak on behalf of the request, please come forward. If not, is there anyone here tonight wishing to speak against the request? Please come forward. Were you for or against? I've got some questions to address. Okay. You come forward. Thank you. The son of the mortar tower who has two pieces of property uh, joining as in north and west of it. My question, uh, Jim Wayne said something about a buffer. He wanted to expect a buffer, maybe. And I also would like for y'all to consider in the stipulation to approve this or not approve it. Some property pins on the southwest border and the northwest border. There's no property pins identifying the property line on the west end of the proposed property. And what is the setbacks on this property? The backyard, front yard. You had it up while we got it. Thirty feet. Thirty feet. Yeah. So you got you got ninety seven feet there, thirty feet, thirty feet, so the dimensions of the house would be 52 by 36. I don't see how 52 and 60 is going to be. 50, 30, 52 by 36. 36 deep. 36. 36 deep. Is that what you said, man? Yes. That's the site plan. That's the actual footprint of the building. Yeah. So you got 30 front yard, 30 backyard, and 36. So roughly 96 foot. And on the west buffer, or what part am I looking at? The west. The dimensions. Right here. Yeah. Each lot is 125 feet wide. And the Total center of the duplexes is going to be roughly, it was cheating. I thought he said they were cheating one way or the he, other. He, he did cheat on a few of the others. The line, he did that in the same tree. <laughs> to, uh, he's cheating toward the east property line, per se. I'm digging with the one over here. Now, formerly Margaret Tower. He did that to save trees, but he's still within the setback okay. of request. With y'all's consideration, can you, upon approval or disapproval, can you get me some property pins where it is, per se, property line is? I, I know Mr. Phelps will have those before they do anything. He will? Mr. Phelps, no, yes, sir. Okay. They have to mark the corners as part of the construction. Mr. Phelps, <laughs> 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 can you assure him there'll be property pens? I will assure him. All right, so. I'm asking for property pens and a buffer. It's, it's approved. Okay. For my 85 year old mother, which owns two pieces of property. All right. Are you? Is there a specific area where you would like to see a buffer? Where her property is. Okay. So the now. Okay. Now or formerly Margaret Cower. Those are the two pieces that you're most concerned about. Which it would be. 
408 Lawson Street and 407 Peter Street, I think it is. Okay. All right. And you can see what her property is on the right. side. Right. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Coward. I appreciate you looking at the commissioner's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> is there anyone else here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of, I'm sorry, against the request? Please come forward, please. State your name and address for the record. My name is Mark Ames, and I live at 406 Peter Street. I am the owner of the first house on the right going on Peter Street. And I would like to um, agree with Mr. Cowart on his stipulation for a buffer um, and support what he said. So, but you're speaking of the buffer on the back side of the property that faces the... I would hope that they would also do a buffer um, on the, that would be the west side. Okay. Um, can we pull up the aerial, can you put the aerial on the screen? There, okay. Where is your home? Up there? I mean, my home is, um, here. That one, yes. Okay. Gotcha. The reason I, I, I agree with the buffers is because though it does look like a very large property and it was said that it does seem that it's not. I, mean, you could, I could throw a softball from my front yard and hit that property. And there's other apartments beyond it that you can you can hear them and sometimes see them. And so it just I think that a buffer would help with the neck, the neighborhood there. Um, the gentleman across the street from me he's, he's elderly he cannot make it. So but um, I know that he has some concerns because it would be wide open there for him. It's just about keeping a, a nice neighborhood and, and sound barrier, that sort of thing. Her house is about 3 I make a motion that we approve the request with the one condition that we spoke about as far as the rear yard of Tate Pitsing uh, that was uh, pretty much agreed upon, and I would like to make that one condition. All right. So we have a motion to approve with the condition of opaque fencing. Do I have a second? I'll second. 
Madam Chairman, before we take a vote on it, for sure. clarity's sake, what type of fencing are we talking about? Six, Height, six, okay. six foot high, probably. Yeah, I'm sorry, Madam. Six foot. Okay. 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 All right, we've done an amendment to that condition for a six foot privacy fence. We have a second by Commissioner Wiles. Is there any discussion on the motion? Not a call for a vote. All those voting in favor of the motion with the added condition of a six foot privacy fence, please raise your right hand. All those against, motion carries. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. All right, moving to our last.